It's Kristen, sister number two from Six Sister Stuff, and today I'm sharing with you one of my most favorite recipes, one of my husband's most favorite recipes. It is called Grandma's Meatloaf. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Now, when I was first married, I was not a very good cook. Okay, I was horrible. But one thing I did know how to make was Grandma's Meatloaf, and so that was like, a staple in our home once a week for probably the first seven years of our marriage. Now I'm just asking two things from you. One, put this meatloaf recipe on your meal plan this week. Two, sit together at least one time this week, sit together as a family and enjoy a meal. Let's go make some meatloaf. Alright, so I'm starting with some ground turkey. I'm adding two eggs. This is about a half of an onion chopped up really small, a half can of tomato soup, um, about a fourth cup of ketchup. I don't measure here, I just kind of throw it in. And then one cup of old-fashioned oatmeal. Next, I'm adding one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, if you call it that, that's how I say it. Then you're just going to mix it all together till it's pretty well combined. Add a little salt and pepper for taste. I like a little more salt than pepper. And then again, just mix it really well. If you need to mix it with your hands, that's okay. All right, I sprayed my meatloaf pan with cooking spray and then I just added it right into the pan. Then you're just going to press it down the best that you can. Try and make it as flat as possible. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of sauce on top. So I have another tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a half cup of brown sugar, and then the rest of the can of the tomato soup. Now this is the special thing with my grandma's recipe. Put this sauce on top, it is delicious. So then I just pour the whole thing over and spread it out the best that I can. Now before you prep this, remember to heat your oven to 350 degrees. And then you're going to bake it for about 90 minutes. It will bubble a little on the sides, get a little crispy, but it is so good that way. Inside is so good. Now the good thing about this recipe, if you have a busy day coming up and you need to cook it and then stick it in the refrigerator, it's good the second and third day too. All right, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'd love to see you here. If you need more dinner ideas, make sure to check out our other videos.